With the release of Windows 11 right around the corner, many gamers are asking themselves, how will Windows 11 perform with games? Well, most people install this on a virtual machine because they want to be safe, and as a result can often lose a bit of performance. But luckily for you, I am very stupid and have decided to install Windows 11 directly onto the bare metal hardware of my main gaming PC. Yep, that's right, I installed this unverified, unreleased version of Windows 11 directly onto my machine for maximum possible performance. So how about we get Windows 11 benchmarked and tested against Windows 10 and see once and for all which one is best for gaming. It's, it, it's just gone on to standby. Now, it's important to start out by saying this version of Windows 11 is not finished. The gaming performance could change at any point between now and the final release date, and we don't even know when that's going to be yet. So we're leaving a lot of things on the table, but this is gonna be a good indication as to whether or not our performance is gonna stay exactly the same, or whether we have the potential for a performance boost. It's important not to underestimate how much of an impact your operating system has on your game's performance. Your operating system is the middle layer between your computer hardware and the game itself, so all the communication between the game and the hardware has to go through the operating system. So things such as DirectX implementation as well as resource management will make a big difference on your gameplay experience. This is also largely up to the developers to implement DirectX efficiently into their games as well as other rasterizers, however, largely your operating system can have a significant impact. For instance, there are rumours that Windows 11 will have significantly better memory management than its predecessor, Windows 10, and so therefore we could see a slight performance boost in games which are more memory intensive. But we're going to leave all of those preconceptions at the door, because now it's time to get into the benchmarks and compare head-to-head -head Windows 10 gaming versus Windows 11 gaming. The first game I tested was Cyberpunk 2077. It's a modern release that isn't best optimised, so this should help highlight any optimization issues with the operating system. As we can see from the results, our Windows 10 machine performed slightly better on average, whilst our Windows 11 machine saw less dips in FPS, leading to a smoother experience. In my eyes, that's a draw between the two operating systems, though only time will tell if this is a fluke result or if there is a trend to emerge. Next up, we have one of the most popular games of all time, Fortnite. Here we saw almost identical average FPS figures, close enough to be within the margin of error. We did however see the opposite to our experience in Cyberpunk. In Fortnite, Windows 11 provided a choppier experience, whilst Windows 10 provided a smoother FPS with less dips. Just Cause 4 is yet another similar story, with average FPS figures lying in the margin of error. This is again repeated for minimums and 1% lows as well. Making the experience in Just Cause 4 absolutely identical between the two operating systems. This is at least reassuring that when we upgrade to Windows 11 we won't see a massive downgrade in performance. PUBG on the other hand saw a definite improvement across the board in Windows 11, with average FPS figures jumping nearly 20 frames per second. Now it's worth bearing in mind that this is a beta build, and we could see this sort of improvement change, for the better or for worse, but if you're happy with your Windows 10 performance in PUBG, then I'm sure you'll love Windows 11. Rocket League however is a big outlier compared to our other games. Here we saw a huge dip across the board when testing in Windows 10. Our average FPS figure for Windows 11 is almost 100 frames per second higher, despite identical settings being used and the latest drivers from AMD. I certainly won't complain about this, but it's certainly strange and an unexpected result, and it occurred across multiple tests as well. In Team Fortress 2, we saw similar results across both operating systems, with average FPS figures in the mid 200s. This is a similar tale to Just Cause 4. It seems that the results for both operating systems is the same, and you won't see any improvement when playing Source Engine titles. Last up, we have Wreckfest, and here we saw more of the same, similar results, but a slight win for Windows 11, beating out the Windows 10 average FPS figures by roughly 5-10%. to This is a decent improvement, and a trend that I hope to see continue across a variety of games. So there's certainly no obvious definite conclusion. The comparison between the two operating systems does vary from game to game, and it's not guaranteed that we're going to get a big performance increase by upgrading to Windows 11. 
However, we'll have to wait until Microsoft's event on June 24th before they confirm any potential gaming improvements that they've been implementing into Windows 11. And so if you guys did enjoy that video and you found it useful, then be sure to hit like and share it with a friend. And if you're new to the channel, then make sure you get subscribed as well because we just hit 8,000 subscribers. Maybe we can join the route to 10K? Who knows, maybe we can do that by the end of the year. I, I find it unlikely, but hey, with your help, maybe we can do it. So like I say, leave a like, get subscribed and leave a comment down below as well. And I'll see you guys next week.